as far as squint is concerned uh, you can put squint as cross eye also to understand cross eye you can say that the eye usually goes in maybe goes out can be deviating towards up or also down the most common uh, cases that we observe in squint are the ones where the eye goes in or the eye goes out as far as uh, squint is concerned squint and lazy eye or amblyopia go hand in hand so i say they are about same sides of the coin if you have lazy eye you might have squint or vice versa when we talk about squint there are multiple ways that we can manage squint first we look at the vision of the child if he requires glasses then first of all we would like to give glasses to the child see for the vision after wearing glasses and analyze the squint also if the control with the glass is better we usually defer a surgery now coming to the point of having a number when we give glasses if the vision is poor now by glasses and vision these are two different things in the glasses is the number that you wear and the vision is that you read on the chart so if the vision is poor then we first of all treat the lazy eye by doing some patching for a few hours after doing patching the vision improves slowly and slowly and once the vision is becoming normal we can definitely think about doing a surgery in the patient as far as squint surgery is concerned there was a taboo behind before that the surgeries don't happen in a very good way or the results are not that great in today's world no it is not like that it's a simple surgery definitely gives a exciting excellent result and the results are really very good so if somebody asks me what is the percentage of result that can come over i would say the percentage of result would be almost about 95 to 98% for sure the results are really gratifying the surgical modality what we do is basically we realign the muscle so we are either placing the muscle at a different place or we cut the muscle to bring it forwards whether it is cutting the muscle to bring it forwards or replacing the muscle to a new place in either of the ways the squint surgery can be performed now we talk about care of the surgery i would say like any eye surgery squint surgery also has few things to be taken care of preoperatively we put you put, put the patient on an antibiotic after that we do the surgery here at trophy center when we do a squint surgery we do not close the eyes so we definitely put a shield but there is no dressing which is required the patient is able to see on the same day if he is capable to open his eye the next day once we open or we examine the patient post operatively the child or the person is definitely able to read very well though there is a complaint of some irritation in the eye which is about for about 2 to 3 days maximum lastly he has to put a medication which is for about 35 to 40 days and more importantly like any eye surgery i was saying you cannot put water in the eye for a month there is nothing like that you cannot go out to play there is nothing like that you cannot go in light there is nothing like that you cannot read study or go to school so i always say that if you are capable to put the medication in the eye or if you have some help in school you can definitely send the child to school after 4 days of squint surgery easily